Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you've been doing well. Welcome to part two of how to knit a cable knit cardigan. I've already posted part one, so let's get into part two. So for the back panel, you literally will then grab your handy dandy notes. And for your back panel, we follow the same as the front. So you want to cast on 50 stitches because that's what we said was needed for our back panel. We will then get six rows up of our knit one purl one for the border. And then we will knit two rows up and then we will start doing our six cables. Once you've done your six cables, just like our front panel, we will then do two rows and then do that cast off and make sure that we're casting off with double stitches on our, our cables so it's just similar as the front and then we have everything here so let's just bring this down a bit so you can see the rhythm is two pearls so we have two pearls then we do six knits then we do two, four pearls so that's why here is much wider so four pearls and then we should be going back to our six knits which is this cable and then after our six knits we have our four, four pearls which is here and then after our four pearls we have our six knits okay and then after our six knits four pearls again and then our six knits then our four, four pearls and then our six last knits and then our two pearls to do that so that's what we're doing and then just like the front panels you turn it around do your whole 12 rows up then you do a new cable so once you have completed your back panel then we it is time to attach the pieces together so that we can start working on our sleeves so I'm going to be using my five millimeter hook to weave in all of the panels together. Um, you can use any hook that fits your yarn of choice and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So this is the outside of my piece. This is what we're going to be seeing from the outside and then this is the inside. So I'm going to turn my panels like as if they're being turned inside out. So I'm going to put my back panel facing the outward way like so and then I'm going to take my other panels and make sure that they are also facing the correct way. It should be here, because we want to make sure we got the panels on on the right side, and and then make sure that's the, the bottom because of our border, and like that. So this is how we are going to be attaching the pieces that we're attaching. The border is not going to be a part of that. So I'm attaching here with this corner, and then I grab my handy dandy yarn that I have still here, and I'm going to wrap that around my hook. I'm gonna pull through, and then I'm just gonna wrap up here again and make that loop just to connect it all. Then I'm gonna be making slip stitches. So I'm gonna go in through the top of that panel and then directly across in the back panel, go at the top there, and then I'm gonna pull that yarn through, and then I'm gonna pull that yarn through that loop again, okay? And then I'm gonna go into my third spot and right across and do the same thing until the whole panel is connected with the back panel, okay? You wanna also make sure that you're leaving enough room for your neck area and not attaching the full panel cause then you might have only a little bit of neck space. So once I've measured that out, I know to stop right here and I'm gonna snip the yarn off and then I'm going to pull that yarn through just to secure it a little bit better. And now that panel is securely on one cable so the cable from the far end is really the only part we're attaching we're not attaching the second cable because we need a lot of space for our neck area and then we have the same on this side and I'm gonna leave about 10 to 12 inches for my armhole like a good amount of space and then you're gonna attach the rest but you want to make sure that you have enough opening for your arm sleeve and then attach the rest from the bottom to like midway so that's what we'll do okay y'all so i have officially attached my sides and wow like i'm honestly i've never made a cardigan a cable knit cardigan before so this is like my first time doing it but i've done cables before where i feel comfortable but like do you see how everything is looking super like coordinated and beautiful like okay we have to add the zipper and then we have to work on the sleeves so i think what i want to work on first is the zipper so 
that's what we're basically going to do. So in order to add the zipper, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. First and foremost, you want to get the right zipper. I got the wrong zipper where it has this little thing at the bottom preventing it from opening all the way through, which we want our cardigan to open all the way through so we can put it on much easier, but that's okay. For this video, I'll just keep it on. I'm also gonna be using thread and needles, and I'm going to start by folding my thread in half. You wanna make sure there's a lot of thread so you don't have to keep you know, adding more thread because it was too short. And then once I have it folded in half, I'll fold it in half again, making it like four strings thick just so that it makes the piece more secure. I'm gonna tie a knot at the end of my thread. I'm gonna do that a couple times just to make sure that it's super secure. And then I'm gonna weave the thread through my needle and tie that a couple times. I'm gonna lay my pins down so that my zipper is super, super secure while I'm going and threading along it. So you wanna get it as close to like the actual zipper opening part so we don't see the other fabric on the side that's what I do to attach a zipper um, and once I've done that with my pins I will then get prepared to weave in everything and attach everything with my thread and needle I'm gonna start off by poking my needle from the inside of my cardigan and taking it on the way out you want to make sure that you're starting at the very bottom of your zipper so that you don't see any of it it just all looks like fabric once we're done and I'm just gonna weave alongside making sure that I'm going as close to the zipper opening but never actually touching it so that the zipper can open once we are finished with attaching it um, but you want to go like little little steps uh, until you get all the way to the top so I have officially like weaved on my <laughs> thread you can see it is attached now you could also use a sewing machine or anything but I felt pretty good with the hand stitch for the first time I haven't taken it fully off I just want to make sure that I worked it all the way to the top as much as I could and now that that is legit I can now uh just make kind of like a knot and then I can um start to weave on the other side and I'll show you how to do that So what we're going to do is the exact same thing. We're going to make sure that we are setting up our pins and then we're going to weave on this side as well. So I'm just going to mimic what I did on that side. Okay, so I just want to talk about this because I have most of it done. So everything is wonderful, everything is going good, you know, for my first cable knit cardigan. However, the zipper, it has like this little thing here and that prevents it from fully opening. So I grabbed the wrong zipper. I think that zipper is for like a bag. So you want to make sure that you get a zipper that has like the opening is like open on both ends so that you it actually can fully open but that's a minor issue and i can still slip this over my body like i'm not, this whole thing isn't like a waist now but the only thing that i have to say but let's get back into the video side so that there should be about like 10 to 11 inches of neck area open so you can always measure that and see if that fits you but that's what we want to have so once that neck area is solid like that, we're good to move on to the next step. Thank you guys for tuning in to part two of my knit cardigan. You should be at this step now where there's zippers on, the front panel and the back panel is attached. And literally all we have to do is work on the sleeves. So stay tuned for part three where I will show you how to attach the sleeves. And don't forget to comment below so I know we're all good. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Bye.